सेवेंथ क्लास चैप्टर ट्वेंटी वन डिवोशनल पाथ टू द डिवाइन हेलो चिल्ड्रेन यू मे हैव सीन पीपल परफॉर्म रिचुअल्स ऑफ वर्शिप और सिंगिंग भजन्स कीर्तन और कवालीस और इवन रिपीटिंग द नेम ऑफ द गॉड इन साइलेंस Haven't you noticed that some of them are so moved that they burst into tears? Such intense devotion or love of God is the legacy of various kinds of bhakti and and Sufi movements that have evolved since the 8th century. In the previous class you had read about the bhakti poems of alwars and nayanars who worshiped vishnu and shiva respectively soon kings and chiefs built large temples for these gods made land grants and other gifts to perform various rituals temple worship became elaborate complex and expensive specially trained priests performed the rituals people belonging to some castes were not allowed to enter the temples soon a reaction set in against such rituals and inequalities new ideas on devotion to god emerged now let us know more about this in this lesson hello children let us start with philosophy and bhakti shankaracharya was one of the most influential philosophers of india he was born in kerala in the 8th century he was an advocate of advaita or the doctrine of the oneness of the individual soul and the supreme god which is the ultimate reality he preached about renunciation of the world and the adoption of the path of knowledge to understand the true nature of brahma and attain salvation ramanuja charya he was born in south india in the 11th century he was deeply influenced by the alwars according to him The best means of attaining salvation was through intense devotion to Vishnu. Vishnu in his grace helps the devotees to attain the bliss of union with him. Ramanuja also ensured a place for people of lower caste in temple worship. He propounded the doctrine of Vishistha Advaita or qualified oneness. Ramanuja's doctrine greatly inspired the new strand of bhakti which developed in North India subsequently. In 12th century in Karnataka we see another level of bhakti movement called Veera Shaivism This movement was initiated by Basavanna and his companions like Allamma Prabhu and Akkamma Devi They have represented the ideas about caste and the treatment of women 
arguing strongly for the equality of all human beings. These are vachanas or sayings attributed to Basavanna. The rich will make temples for Shiva. What shall I, a poor man, do? My legs are pillars, the body the shrine, the head a cupola of gold. Listen, O Lord, of the meeting rivers, things standing shall fall. but the moving ever shall stay children now let us learn about the saints of maharashtra whose songs in simple marathi continues to inspire people till date From the 13th to the 17th centuries Maharashtra saw a great number of saint poets The most important among them were Naneshwar Namdev Eknath and Tukaram As well as women like Sakubai and the family of Chokamela who belonged to the untouchable Mahar caste. This regional tradition of bhakti focused on Lord Vishnu in the form of Vitala temple in Pandharpur. as well as on the notion of a personal god residing in the hearts of all people these saint poets rejected all forms of ritualism outward display of piety and social differences based on birth in fact they even rejected the idea of renunciation and prefer to live with their families earning their livelihood like any other person while humbly serving fellow human beings in need a new humanist idea emerged as they insisted that bhakti lay in sharing others pain as the famous gujarati saint narsi mehta said Vaishnavas are those who understand the pain of others. Children, let us see one abang of Saint Tukaram. He who identifies with the battered and the beaten mark him as a saint for God is with him he holds every forsaken man close to his heart he treats a slave as his own son says tuka i won't be tired to repeat again such a man is god in person This is an abang composed by Chokamela's son. You made us low caste. Why don't you face that fact, great lord? Our whole life left over food to eat. You should be ashamed of this. You have eaten in our home. How can you deny it? Chokas son Karmamela asks. Why did you give me life? In this way many saints and poets were against the 
elaborate complex and expensive rituals and inequalities in the society new ideas on devotion to god emerged <laughs>